Well, over the last day, we've been hearing from all sorts of corporate executives that are down in Fort Lauderdale for the Business Council's biannual meeting. We are now joined by one of those executives, Fred Hassan, the senior advisor at Warburg Pincus and the former CEO of Sharing Plow. And Fred, we thank you for your time this morning. Um, give us some of the buzz down there this morning. We know that you bring to this the health care angle because of all your years of experience in that area. Uh, how big of a topic is health care down there? We were just talking about Bloomberg Business Week's interview with the president and obviously that balancing act on health care reform. Thank you, John. Uh, healthcare was more of a topic in previous meetings at the Business Council. Uh, at this meeting, it seems like uh, we're talking mainly about the economy, about the balance sheets, uh, balance sheets uh, among the corporate uh, companies, among the uh, government entities, and balance sheets at the consumer level. But beyond the balance sheets, uh, the biggest uh, conversation is about jobs and how to get the recovery to come through the way it was planned to come through. It's been a little slow. Well, so healthcare reform seem to have been pushed back a little bit. How about how those jobs are going to be created? You know, speaking of health care, you think of all those small businesses that were putting off hiring people because they didn't know what their health care costs for employees were going to be. I think uh, that's an element in the equation, <clears throat> but even more important is uh, to create an environment of certainty and an environment of security. And I think in that regard, the administration is starting to make the right speeches in terms of a stable and strong recovery. And I, I think it's going to take some time. And also, it's a global effort. It's not just a U.S. effort. It's, it's a global effort. And right now, there is some concern about the balance sheet uh, problems in Europe that might be affecting the U.S. recovery. So a lot of us are talking about how to work together to get this recovery to occur as soon as possible. Fred, can you give us some flavor on what's happening in the sector you know best? Deal activity, obviously you're, you were involved in one of the biggest deals out there. Are we going to see more health care M&A? I think you'll see a lot in this healthcare ecosystem. It's a very big and complex ecosystem. And uh, you're going to see deals. One reason deals are necessary is because the innovation investments are becoming larger and larger and it makes it easier when people can accumulate their resources to make the big deep bets that you need to make for difficult diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. That's why you're going to see more of these deals. And also some of the smaller companies that are very, very good in research and development, they are running into cash flow problems. Their usual sources right. of funding are starting to come under stress. So some of those deals are going to happen just because there's a cash flow crunch. Fred, we've only got about 10 seconds less left. I did want to get your take on President Clinton's uh, stint in the hospital. Yeah, that's a very important uh, uh, piece of news. Uh, the president has been a very big champion of heart health. And heart disease is, one, is still the number one killer in our country. But we've made major advances in reducing heart attacks and stroke. But what this tells us is that we really need to work on innovation here. All right, Fred, we really appreciate your time. Fred Hassan, the former CEO of Sharing Plow, joining us from what looks like sunny Fort Lauderdale this morning for the uh, meeting of CEOs.